for me to Christy Ronnie thank you Candy what what list I'll be waiting I know I can't pronounce that I'm sorry they like my strategy one of my faults now now my body be this this is my nature you want me to go to take drugs you want me to go to take drugs, me I take fat, me I can't do chick like uh, all these people who swallow uh, this thing. No, this is my body, this is my nature. People don't say I eat everyone I eat. That's why I be. Try so get me, my darling. Ambassador Dada Masses, good evening, sir. God bless you. So, this is my nature. I don't feel fat past like this. So, let's enjoy this music first. Please let me share this video. And help me to invite, invite women, invite your friends, most especially women. If you say invite men, no, but this, this what I'm going to say tonight is basically for we women. Please help me invite people. <laughs> Yeah, we're 
a dance drama. This music is a music dance and drama. Nice I dance drama day. Nice I dance drama the music day. Yeah, nice I dance drama day. If you want to watch and just go my YouTube, you'll see the dance drama there. The title is Osari Me. Mommy is good. <laughs> Mommy Brandy, what to do now? You're not hearing me. Are you guys hearing me? Please, are you guys hearing me? Somebody said she, he, he's not hearing me. Mommy, I'll, I'll sleep very soon. I just want to, to send a little message to we women. Okay, you guys are hearing me. Okay. God bless you. Yes, please help me share. Just help me invite your friends. Share. If you see the head, the heading of this video, if you see the heading when I write for there, I've been wanting to say this for a very long time. <laughs> they can love it. <laughs> this one will be future president. So, eh? You sure say we will fit? I've been wanting to say this for a very long time. And I believe today is a day of love. Today is a day of love. So today is the right day, the right time for me to say this. Yes. The right time for me to say it. So my beautiful ah somebody said no love it or must I be love it or not say say no they hear me but almost everybody say they are hearing me so if you know you are hearing me yes favor wheezy so sorry medals and drama if you know you are hearing me listen to me very well if you are not hearing me please check your speaker Gamia Sandra. She says she they said to vet, she they said best spread, towels, bath robes, pants and bra, and nightgown. Please help me patronize her. God bless you as you do so. I want to say this to my fellow women. I want to say this to my fellow women. Today is a day of love. And for the past three days, we have been talking about Valentine, 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 Valentine. I just want to talk as the Spirit leads me. I just pray the Spirit of God should lead me to. To the destination where the viewers here, the listeners will get the message I'm trying to give out. I pray that God should lead me. I've been talking about Valentine, Valentine and all that, you know. I've been joking about it. Today, since morning, we have been on this Valentine. <laughs> Baba Clement, Clement Kenneth. Good evening, sir. So today we have been on this Valentine issue since morning. I went out this morning before I returned. My house was filled with my children. When I say my children, both my biological children and other children that make me to be their mom, they surprised me with so many gifts. And after some time, another one came again, stunning surprise, to give me what she had. And I tell you tonight, the gift I got today is the best gift I've ever gotten in my life. I appreciate what they did for me today. If you give me, if you give me one, one billion naira, 
I know go, I know sure I go to appreciate and the way I appreciate what these children do for me today. Valentine, I don't know why people take it to be another way around, like it's a do or die affair. Valentine is not a do or die. It's not, it's not, I don't know. You see some grown up people crying, dying over heartbreak. Oh, my boyfriend broke my heart. My girlfriend broke my heart. Today's Valentine. I didn't see him. I didn't know that. The first thing you need to have in life is self-love. The first thing you need to have in this life first is first is self-love. When you have self-love, when you love yourself, You will not expect much from other persons if you don't love yourself and you are expecting love from others and when that love is not coming forth you will be disappointed so love yourself love yourself I want to talk to my fellow women tonight I am talking as a single mother. I still call myself a single mother. Not that I don't have somebody in my life. You all know that I have somebody in my life. But I still want to talk to my beautiful fellow women as a single mother. Because I'm not married yet. So I'm still a single mother. You see, I, w I went out a few hours ago. I just came back. I just returned. The person that took the family out, you, you all know, saw it there. She didn't wait for, for the man. No. She didn't wait for the man. So now the man must take us out. No. She went out, booked for a hotel, booked for food, drinks, and she called me and said, Esther, come. When I got there, I was so surprised. Before we now say, okay, let's call the man. Before he now came. That is what we call self-love. You need to appreciate yourself. You need to have that love for yourself first because when you love yourself you will not expect too much you understand So why I said, I want to talk to my fellow women tonight. I want to talk to the single mothers, most especially the single mother, we the single mothers. You see that I said, being a single mother is not a death sentence. No, it's not a death sentence. When you know who you are, when you know who you are, the person in you, Being a single mother is not a crime. It is not what everybody wish for. Every woman wish for herself. No, it is not. It is what you just find yourself in. Being a single mother is not a death sentence. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the road. In fact, it's even the beginning of life for you because you already have experience of life. You understand? 
you already have experience of life, experience about life as a mother. At this very particular time of your life is when you need to be more focused. It's when you need to be more focused. It's when you need to know what you want and what you don't want. You understand? Some people felt like if you are a single mother, you became a. They see you like you are a bad luck. Or maybe you see yourself like you are a bad luck, like you, you are not lucky. Initially, that is what I felt. Yes, initially. That is how I was feeling. When I look at myself, I said, God, I am so unlucky. When it has to do with relationship, oh my God, I'm so unlucky. Why me? <laughs> if I say make I talk small story this night, you know see. But I'll just cut and short small small. The father of my children, where I bought three children for. You know? I don't even know we we talk about celebrating valentine talk about you know I, I i i don't have that experience i don't have it as life goes on after i don't call it mistake because i have my children to to look up to my children are my pride they are my joy they are my happy see what they did for me today if god bless them tomorrow they now have the money to buy me the old world, they will buy it for me. They just make me understand today that if they have the old world, they will give it to me. I don't know, celebrate love? No. I was thinking, I said, oh God, when it comes to relationship, I'm not being lucky. I'm not being lucky, I'm not being lucky. First time, second time, oh, I think it's not, it, relationship is not in my destiny. But do you know what? For this life, hmm? now where God say your head they go, and there they go. Where God say your head they go. Now dead ego. You can't fight it. You can't help it. You can't, you can't fight it. You can't help. You can only do the one you can do within your power and you leave the rest. As you they do your own, God will they do your own because God. God already they plan your life. Even before you came into this world, God already plan your life. You understand? So I want to talk to all single mothers tonight. Even if you are single today, you don't have anybody in your life. This is the time you need to sit down, think back to where you are coming from. Think back to where you are coming from. Just think on your previous relationship, how it be. How it take day? What it happen? How it take go? How it take go? Then, after deliberating on it on your own, then you now have to figure out a way. This is what I have to do. What do you have to do? Love myself. Oh, since nobody decided, nobody decided to love me. Let me love myself. Let me encourage myself. Let me stand on my own and fight for myself. 
You don't need to have the money in the world as you have all the own money. No, money cannot give you happiness. No, money is not what you need. Money is not what you need at this very particular time. You need yourself, your own self. You need, to, if you are waiting for people to encourage you, they might encourage you, but if you get to a point, they will leave you. But if you stand on your own and encourage yourself, you will never be disappointed. By the time you are not strong, you will help yourself to get to where you are going. You will help yourself to get, that, get to that place you are planning to go. We women, we are the problem of ourselves. I want to say this today. Now, I am a woman. I have children. First relationship of when I was 18 years, it didn't work out. I tried another one after so many years. After so many years, it didn't work out. It's for you to know that things of this life, it is not by your power. It is not by your power, nor by your wisdom. You may apply your wisdom, fine. You may use your wisdom, but what God says supersedes your wisdom. What God says is final. You may use all the wisdom in the world, you may, you may use your power, but last, last, what God says is final. After my first relationship, I said, no, I don't think I want to go into any other relationship again because I'm still very young. Let me fight for my children. For so many years, for more, for more than 12 years, I said, no, I don't want to go. But after some time, I told myself, I'm a woman, I'm still very young. I'm too young. I'm too young to just stay in this life without a man. I said, let me give it a try again. I tried again and it failed. Now, we women, the way we take this issue of being single is like a taboo. It's like a taboo. We women, assuming, let's say I'm your sister, your biological sister, let's say the same father, the same mother, your sister. And I happen to be in this position that I am today. As your sister, I think you will still pray for me to say, ah, sister, I pray for you one day you will marry, you will, you will have somebody that will marry you. Okay, let's say you put yourself in somebody's head shoe, like a single mother. A single mother that have kids. You have kids as a single mother. You don't you don't have you are not into any relationship, you are just single. You have kids. And you deserve to be happy. I don't irrespective of what happened to your previous relationship, whether you are the one that was wrong or it was your partner that was wrong, but there is already a breakup and you are not single. You will not you will not decide to remain single forever. You are a human being and you deserve to be loved. Yes, you deserve to be loved. All you need to do is to sit down, think about the previous one, what was the mistake, what was the error, and try again. Because you are a human being. I know people will say so many things. People will say so many things. Hey, why should not say that one? Why she not say that first one? Why she not do this? They will castigate you. They will condemn you. They will nail you to the cross. But you that wears the shoe, that know where it paints you, you need to be focused. 
because now you fair pass through what you pass through nobody help you nobody did there nobody know what you go through now you see they go so now you see they 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 ride the boat by yourself not because they ride down for you now you see they ride down now you know where they ride down they go you need to be focused to be a single mother is not easy you know for this society where we do so i say nigeria now for Ibo land now now you say you i be single mother i go people will even pity you People will even pity you, but for year Africa, Nigeria to be specific, they say you be single mother. Now your fellow woman will fair crucify you. Now your fellow woman will fair nail you to the cross. They go make you be. They go make you see yourself like a taboo. They go make you see yourself like you don't deserve to be loved in this life again till you die. They go make you feel like you don't deserve any man again in your life. Your own, your fellow women, now go make you feel like that. If one relationship not work, you know me say me you kill yourself, or me you can say oh it is over. You want to remain like that? God will create we humans. It, it gets sense. Omako. When he creates a man and woman, oh my God. if you decide as a man to say, oh, because a woman break my heart, I want to stay without a woman, you will just die young because God will create her. He know why. You need a partner. You need somebody. Same with woman. Oh, because man break my heart, I want to stay without a man. You want to kill yourself. You need a man in your life. You need a partner. Yes, Sonia Pretty, being a single mother is not a crime. I don't know why. The problem we have now is not even the men. No, the problem we have today concerning this issue of single mother is not even the men. It's we women. It's we women that is making the issue of a single mother to be like it's a crime. How can you expect a young woman? Because say, her previous relationship not work, whether it bump put or not bump put to make it remain single for life, make it not make it not near my again. How could you as a woman? Because saying a single mother, it don't feel bump. And that relationship not work. She not get right to test start another relationship again. Do you know the problem we Africa black we have? We over overemphasize on issue that is not even meant to be. A single mother. If single mother for Africa, Nigeria, to be precise, single mom, we don't forget children. For example, we don't forget children. He can't come across single boy. We never felt married. Never felt born. He never felt married. He never felt born. Then the woman don't feel married before. Or he not felt married. Then she don't feel born. That woman can't get the opportunity to come to jam single boy. We never felt married. Felt born. They feel really love themselves. They love themselves very well. Two of them really love themselves. Like to die then they'll just they go where before you know it before you know it you will begin to hear different gossip from different corner different angle they'll begin to poison the heart of the guy they'll begin to poison the heart of the man what are you doing with a second hand woman what are you doing with a woman will be say that generator and they make noise woman will be say you don't feel you don't feel born now you want to start life what do you want is that they do you will see before you know it they will destroy that relationship 
with their talk, 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 mouth, with their tongue. The Bible says this tongue so they see so now two edges sword. If you talk, if you use that way, you go bring good things. If you use that bad, it go cause bad things. They will, they will, they will destroy that relationship. They will say, no, how you go, how you go marry a woman with a fair bone? Go marry a woman whenever fair bone. Then they say, you, you woman, you know, go find man with a fair bone, with a fair girl picking. May you go marry. You know, go find man with a fair bone. They will frustrate that relationship. They will frustrate that woman. The woman will come come out. She will come go find. She will come go, they pray. You, you can't even find. Some people that will tell me, say, go find, go find husband, go find. You can't find. A husband go find, no matter what, you know, be find husband. You know, they find husband. God, they bring her for you. God, if they bring her for you, not be you go find her. Because if you find, you know, see. Now God will bring her for you. From where you sit down, you go bring her. Then the woman now, Congo, 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 they pray, God. Give me my way, be say, don't first see born. Wait till you understand. Wait till be marriage or wait till be relationship or wait till be, you know, wait till be parents. At the end of the day, me and you that is sitting here tonight, you will not pray for your brother to lose her wife. You will not pray that your sister should die so that her husband can remarry. Nobody is praying for evil to happen in their family. On brother mercy, yes, I have. You will come see where woman they hunt for man, where, he, where his wife enemy don't fed die. You will come see where woman they hunt for man, where he be saying he and his wife don't for, they don't divorce. Where don't fed get children. You will come see where woman they pray. God, may I just get one, my to say, why don't fed die? Or oh, they don't divorce. Is that a good prayer? That's not a good prayer. That is not a good prayer. Women are the problem of their fellow women. You as a woman, we be say, you day your man house, like your husband, or your baby father, or your fiance, or your fiance, I don't know. Now they together for years. Congratulations. That's your destiny. That's what destiny have in stock for you. You are lucky. It's not every woman that is as lucky as you are. It doesn't mean that those women, they are bad. It doesn't mean they, they, they don't have the quality of a good wife, of a good mother, you know. It's not that they don't have it. But it is where their destiny have led them to. That is why I am telling my beautiful fellow women tonight love yourself respect yourself no matter how long it will take no matter how long it will take the right person will come for you yes don't cry over a man that doesn't deserve you. Don't kill yourself over a man that doesn't know your words, whether you have children before or not. I did use Mel as an example. 
Now see my children. Now see them now. They are grown. The senior guy is even bigger than I am. My senior girl, senior daughter, if she come here now, now the house will be senior for two of us. You understand? But as I'm here, whether good or bad, I don't care whatever people are saying. I don't care because they, they don't wear my shoe. They are not the one that is wearing my shoe. I don't care what they say. Today, I can proudly say I have somebody in my life. I have a man in my life. Who knows that I have children and they are grown. And I am happy with it. And he's happy with it. It took a very long time. Yes. It took a very long time. I told, I told you guys, if I begin to say what and what I went through, we will not sleep. But you know, because when I look back to my previous relationship, it didn't work. It wasn't my fault. I said, okay, let me focus on myself. Let me love myself. Let me stop searching for who will love me and break my heart. Love me and break my heart. Love me. Let me just love myself. Love my children. Love what I have. And focus on my business. People don't say that granola I see they said that time. People don't say that pure what I did say. Let me focus on it. You understand? And do you know what I did? I focus on my business, I focus on my children. I was just doing what I know I can do to take care of them and take care of myself. Forget about the stress of life. I have to be happy. And because God knows what you want, God knows what I want, God knows that I deserve to be happy. Eh, yeah, we all my events or we all zip ball or we ain't going to do, ain't going to do today. I don't want my mouth saying anything. Ain't going to do today. My boy, my boy, I don't want my mouth saying anything. You understand? When you look at yourself, even if person not praise you, you praise yourself. Say yes. Now who might be at the try? You praise yourself. Somebody that knows your value, that knows you have kids, that knows that, oh, if I enter this woman's life today, automatically I am the father of her kids. If I enter this woman's life today, from that very day, I become the father of her kids. Not the man that will come and tell you, it's you I love, not your children. Then you begin to fight and kill yourself over that kind of woman. Because you are looking for somebody that will love you. I just need somebody to love me. Hello? Love yourself. Love yourself. Let that man that is coming know that you value yourself you love yourself more than any other thing so that the way you can't tell me say you love yourself you love you like that the way you can't tell me say you love your things things around you they will love you like that don't sacrifice self-love for anything because all this love that people will claim they love you or the love that they will proclaim on a very good day they will all fade away maybe they are loving you because of what they, they are getting from you maybe they are loving you because of what what you are doing by the time that thing cease to exist those love will fade away then when you have self-love 
in any situation you find yourself, you will remain loved. You will remain happy. You understand? Today is Valentine. Today is Valentine. Everybody, there are so many people that bought themselves gift today. There are so many people that bought themselves gift today. So even carry money, go back car, gift yourself. Say today is Valentine. Let me go and buy a car for myself. Do you understand? Oh, today is Valentine. Let me go and buy flour for myself. I buy flour for myself. They show love to themselves. The first time I got a Valentine gift from somebody, it was last two years. I shed tears. I was crying. Say God, that never happened. But I've learned to love myself through these years. This life is love. Now love God to create this world where we get today. Now love. Out of love, not take create some. Come give us life. Say no, come they live on. They will live on. And as we did this life so, life is a beautiful gift from God. We did here, we don't have stay there yet. Even as I they talk now, I don't know the next one happened, the next moment. I don't have the final say when it has to do with life. God have the final say. Why not love? Let love lead you. We women. If you are lucky to have a good relationship, another person might not be lucky. Everybody has their different faiths. So, that person that is not lucky today should not say that is his or her final state of life. No. If you are not lucky today, when it has to do with love, that's not your final state. There are so many still more days ahead that you will come across somebody that will even love you more than you deserve. And you begin to ask yourself, that's all life be. So this one will be say I want that put. Will be say I thought ah without this person I will not live. Like Ceres, my beautiful mama. Happy Valentine. Oh, I, I was thinking that if I leave this person, that would be the end of my life. Oh, I, wa I was thinking that oh, if, if this person leave me, I will just die. So you will not compare. So that time where I want you to die, where I did just say I must die, put. So now so far I did that time. So there are more to this life. You begin to see it. Yes, when you are expecting too much, you will be disappointed. Don't expect much. Just take life the way you see it. Take life the way you see it. Don't kill yourself over nothing. When relationship come, oh, be happy to grab it. When relationship is not coming, oh, I love you myself. I love you, Esther. Do for yourself what you can do for yourself. Love yourself. Take yourself out. You know? When it comes, oh, you're welcome. This is love. Oh, you're welcome. Grab it. Don't listen to what people will say. Because they are not the one wearing the shoe. Person, we want to condemn you. First, we want to condemn you. We want to say, now so you, you be taboo or you, you don't deserve to be loved. You don't deserve to enjoy life. You don't deserve to be happy. That person, if they own, if they house, if they happy, they will come, come and come tell you, say, you don't deserve to be happy or you don't deserve to have this thing. No, now. They are not the one wearing the shoe. 
So what they are saying shouldn't be your problem. Focus. So my beautiful women, let's not be a barrier to our fellow women. Let's not be a barrier. Let's not be an obstacle. Let's not be a destroyer. Don't discourage your fellow women. Don't discourage your fellow women. When you see a woman passing through some difficulties in life, you don't know what happened. Try and give out words of encouragement. Try and give. Don't just crucify. Don't just judge. Don't just conclude. Try and encourage. Because you don't know what might happen to you tomorrow. You don't know what is your fate tomorrow. And you as a woman, if nobody is loving you for who you are, forget about it. If nobody is loving you for who you are, forget about it and believe that it is not yet time for that person that will love you for who you are to come. It's not yet time. It's not yet time. Nobody be bad local. Nobody be bad head. Nobody be... It's, it's, a, it's so, sometimes people don't believe in destiny. But me, I so much believe in destiny. You understand? Yes. So people don't believe in destiny. When, so, when some things happen in their life, they'll say, oh, now which cause I'm going? Now this or now that or. No. Not be everything bad people they cause. There are some things that will happen in your life. Trace it. You will see that. You will trace it to destiny. It's your destiny. That you can't do, you can't do nothing about it. You understand? If they come this life, nobody know how we say talking for heaven saying that so one come do. We don't know. Automatically you see yourself living life. You try all your possible best to make this work. And sometimes it's not working, sometimes it works. So if there are some that doesn't work, it's not everything bad people they cause. Sometimes it traces it down to destiny. So when people blame you, when people begin to blame you, when people begin to say trash about you, to condemn you, you know, you just let them be because they don't know what they are doing. They don't know the mystery of life. They don't know the mystery of life. You can't comprehend it. No. See that place where your destiny they take you to. If you never reach there, you don't go stop. I know sometimes we blame ourselves for so many things that happen in our lives. Sometimes we blame ourselves. But hello, baby. It's time you stop blaming yourself. Yes. Hello, baby girl. It's time you stop blaming yourself. Because you don't know why everything is happening the way they are happening. You don't know what God has in stock for you. You don't know where God is leading you to. You don't know. You don't know where your destiny is taking you to. So when things happen, always just take it like, oh, 
Bene he went all yenu. Bene he went all yenu. Then no sa win all yenu. Because they have in the sa win all ye with all the prayers, with all the fasting, God is not dead. No. God is not dead. That he cannot hear all your prayers, all your tears. He's not. So when you keep on praying and praying and praying and praying and praying and that particular thing you are praying for, there is no change. Believe in destiny. Oh, this is how my destiny wants it to be. Then you now have to move forward. Because the reason why that thing is not working out is because that is not your destiny. Look forward. Your destiny is there. That is why that thing is not working. That thing is trying to tell you, go, go to that place, go front. Now there your own day. Now there your destiny day. Go there. Even if you don't first spend 10 years for a year, you don't burn, you don't burn. If I every people are supposed to not burn a year. That place. Anna Wawa Neogoma. Tell me who your ma. Osaba neg your mom we ma. Neg your no demand say we ma. Anna Wawa Neogoma. Tell me who your ma. You understand? So when it's not working, that place is not your destination. Amen. I let Amen. God no go give you love enough to carry. Go forward. And stop blaming yourself. So, my beautiful women, let's try and encourage ourselves. Let's stop fighting our fellow women. Now so you do. Now so you go do. Hey, the cash out. He goes sleep with another person's husband. Hey, the cash out. He goes do this one. He goes to boyfriend. He goes to husband. He goes to this one. He goes to this one. Let's talk. This life, you don't get duplicated. You don't get part two. You don't get. You don't get. Now only one life where they live. Only one life. Now only your own, you know. Go your own. Go and where. Pray. God. Thank you for this one where you give me so. God, thank you for this one where you give me so. God will bless you. Thank you, Baba. Where say? When we me. That is it. No Samari Nani. E Bobe. E you know that I am where you are. E tell me down the le. Because when no man, no go go anywhere, it's not your, it's not by your power. It's not your making. It is the will of Almighty God and your destiny. So that person that is not lucky, don't pest that person. Don't use your mouth to destroy that person. Hit that person. Umayi no go yeta. Umayi no go yeta. Not be only woman now, both men and women. If you come here tomorrow, say, person, he die of loneliness. He go hand his or herself. Because if he go date single boy, or he go date single girl, we never fed bond. Say, ah, you a dear man, we don't fed bond finish. We don't put bond finish. How many women don't leave you? Now this is not picking one to start like. Okay, come on now. So, okay, may I go find woman where don't divorce or may I go find woman where her husband don't die? They'll say, hey, who need dead body more? Who does that thing I will know we am? Who need dead body? Who am I to yari? Who am I to yari? Who need me? Who does that? Who am I? What do you want, single men and women, to do with your life? What do you want, single men and women, to do with your life? Do you want them to die? You want them to go and hang themselves. If if that person you are destroying is your brother, if that person is your sister, will you be happy to see that person in that kind of condition? Do you know what loneliness can cause? It can cause depression. It can make you kill yourself. It can make you hang yourself. It can make you 
do what you are not supposed to do. Loneliness is worse than disease. Loneliness is bad. Heartbreak is bad. It kills. Heartbreak kills faster than sickness. understand let everybody live their life in peace this life not get part two not just one whatever you do today and tomorrow you'll come back to it let everybody live in peace let whosoever that is doing is our thing. Let them do it. Let them do it their own way. Leave them. Leave them because you are not wearing their shoes. Leave them. Focus on your life. If you want to make friends, make good friends that can protect you, that can protect you, that can be your backbone, that can be by your side. Even when the storm is hovering around, they will stand by you and say, oh, this is my friend. If you want to make friends, make good friends that will give you happiness. Not friends that will destroy you. Not friends that will break your heart. Valentine is all about love. Love. People don't say that again. Show love. I know so many people today. There are so many hearts today that has been broken. There are so many people today as I'm here, they are crying. Ask me, say, what did they cry for? Because, oh, I only know on your day. See all women, then they showcase their husband. See all men, they showcase their wife. See all of them, all they show love everywhere. Boyfriend that get friend, all of them, they show love. Oh, I'm lonely. I'm here. You don't have to. You don't have to. I celebrated so many years lonely. And it didn't hurt me. I was happy. Sometimes I take myself out. Sometimes I'll just take my children. Sometimes my siblings, let's go out and enjoy. We we'll spend money, we we'll laugh, we we'll play, we we'll come back home. Because I know that one day God will put a smile on my face. I know that one day God will put a smile on my face. So if you are fighting, you want to kill yourself over a man or a woman that doesn't know your words that doesn't know what you deserve forget it forget it don't kill yourself it doesn't worth it this life is too short BP you don't get permanent medicine you, you can only manage it you manage it till you die So don't go and have BP because of somebody who doesn't know your worth, your value, who doesn't deserve you. Keep yourself. Show yourself love and wait on that day that God will send that person to you where you are sitting down. He or she will come and meet you there and put a smile on your face. Lastly, my fellow women let's learn to support one another let's learn to encourage one another don't condemn your fellow women don't spoil them with your mouth don't destroy them because you have a sharp tongue you are not in their shoes let love lead we all are celebrating love today. Have you not been love with the celebrate today? Many people they wouldn't do and they don't know what it is the, the meaning of the Valentine said. They all the hey Valentine, Valentine, hey Valentine. They don't even know the meaning. Today is love day. Let love lead. Let love lead. In our hearts. Right from your heart. Not before mouth. No, you're talking for mouth. Hey, love, I love you. Let love. Be. No. Let it be from your heart. But you see somebody that is not happy, try and make the person happy. 
like if you can encourage the person with the words of your mouth you know you can encourage the person with whatever you know you can you can do you understand you you, you don't know you might be saving a soul with the words of your mouth and you might be killing a soul with the words of your mouth so learn to talk positive with your tongue so that you will be blessed thank you everyone god bless you god bless you god bless you that's my little advice tonight yes we women we are our biggest problem yes i did love yes for friendship also as you can see today now now we carry ourselves out now not say today yes her word saloon. I carry us out today. Don't me say, oh, now my boyfriend must take me out. Now my husband must take me out. You can take your children out. So people go, even plan, say, I will take my husband out. I will take my boyfriend out. At the end of the day, the boyfriend will be nowhere to be found. The husband will be nowhere to be found because he don't come out. He don't come out for us. He's not there available. For you to carry out maybe you don't already ready you don't carry your money over and say i want to carry out today but maybe because you have another person to like take out he or she will disappoint you join the money where you will say if you want a surprise now you will still disappoint you then you're gonna cry i mean hey, hey i want to take out he got this you don't have to take your money go and flex yourself enjoy yourself you understand Say how to know good friend. Diana Ade. How to know good friend. If you want to know a good friend, start it from yourself. Be a good friend first. You understand? If you want to know a good friend, you try it. Just try this logic. Be a good friend. Be a sincere friend. Be a truthful friend. Be a open friend. Allow people to betray you. Mm. Allow your friend to betray you. Just use some things to try out. You be free. Be a good friend. Be nice. So that when your friend not betray you, you will not say, oh, I was so nice to him or her. Look at how he or she not betray me. You show the example. So that when people not hear it, they say, ah, she be good though. She be your good one, and that her friend, I be bad, then I be bad person. In the process of people hearing your story, you will not find a friend after your heart that will still be looking for somebody like you. You say, it's a wagwal or say no ma. You will not find out, oh, this person is just, if they operate like me, if not 100%, but if they operate like me, now come day together. But uh, let me shock you, there is no perfect human being on earth. Let me shock you today. There is no perfect human being on earth. If you are looking for the perfect one, you are not ready. You are not ready. Because that's why I said, initially when I started this library, I said, don't expect much from people so that you will not be disappointed. You just be the good person. Forget about the rest. If they like me, they talk to you now. You'll be this or you'll be that or forget. You do your own. Be the best because they are not God that will judge you. When you might be judging you, Eh? If God wants to judge you, after God has judged you, the eyes of humans will see the judgment of God in your life. But we not not we sorry, If God wants to judge you, now the way He judge you. Now the people will judge you wrongly go say no say no not the way they say judge them. If God still judge you the way they judge them, you know say yes you are at fault. Because I every time where I mean I mean no mama wa 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 na bo obi mama wo salobo wa. I understand. When the world judge you wrongly, leave it. Let God judge you so that when God not judge you, the results will be known to the world. So, my darling, there is no perfect human being. That is why you, as a human being, you must be ready. You must be ready. You must be ready to expect disappointment for friends. Yeah. 
Be ready to expect disappointment from friends. And when when it comes, accept it. If you still love that friend, let go and continue. If you feel like no, because maybe the problems that the relationship brought was too much, maybe it now results to a threat to life. Before you now decide to say, this one will be it don't be threat to life, may as well be go my way. But if it's not threat to life, it just may it can say I say or oh, it, it can't do me this, it can forget about it, move on because there is no perfect being on this planet Earth. If you are leaving this friendship to go and make another one, the person you want to go and make friends with, do you know who the person is? You will still have to read that person again from the beginning before you understand it. They said the devil you know is better than the angel you don't know. Yes. When that devil, you know the request for your life, you know request for now only this life, now I don't get part two. Me, I know they use that one, I say they play. If you can't see any foul play, say your life is in danger. I bet you carry your slippers, may you dust and put for head wrong. You understand? I did love, yes, you can call me. But if you not be threat to life, now that they no women, women, friendship, wahala, you are good to go. You, you quarrel and you settle. We argue to learn. Yes, we argue to learn. We quarrel and we settle. I come you if you are a person they, 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 they do relationship like friendship for years and not quarter, you know wrong. Wrong uh. that's why I said it the other day. If you see me as somebody today, we are friends. Tomorrow you did not see us again as friends. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. Because you are not the one wearing the shoe. If you see me today, I'm a friend to Stephanie. Tomorrow you now see that we are not friends. Forget about it. Just you know say don't end. You are not you are not in my shoe. But if I decide to continue, uh -huh. they, they call yes, they, they don't say to know that it, the friendship is good for me. It's good for me, it's good to go. Now we now another call it we call it we settle. Uh -huh. We are good to go. Not when they ask me, say you don't settle. Now call it yes, don't settle. Forget about it. You understand? So that is life. Let love live. This is morning it's after 12. So we have to. Let me drop my number if you don't have my number. But if you call me, no people are complaining. If you are lucky, I'll pick on time. That's my number. That's my number there. So you understand. So that is it. And uh, I would like to say good night, everyone. Good night, good night, good night, good night. Much love from me. Bye-bye.